there. It is never too early to start thinking about Christmas. It'll be upon us before we know it. So today's offering is a card with our snowflakes from our new festive collection. And I've got a really nice technique in here to show you too. The products we'll be using for today's card include the snowflakes, the snowflake background, I'm going to just be using the inside ring on this deboss snowflake and the snowflake border corner and tag. We're going to be using a few of these and I'm going to be making a frame out of the noble uh, ornate pierced rectangles and then I also have the peace on earth clear stamp set for our sentiment. And the technique will be used uh, with the sparkle texture paste. Now this is the polar white I'm using, but this comes in 41 different colors. So there's just a whole range of things you can do with it. And it's absolutely gorgeous. Let's set these aside. We'll get started. So the first thing I'd like to show you is I'm going to show you how to create this frame for your card. Now I've gone ahead and I've used the second and middle inside cutting ring from the ornate pierced rectangles to cut an actual white frame. But I want to dress it up a little bit, so we're going to show you how to put an edge on that. I'm going to use the sky blue card here, bring my cutting plate over, and just the two outer cutting edges on this. We'll pop them down onto our card and tape them into place so they're nice and straight. Get my tape. And just line them up so they look evenly gapped all the way around. And I like to put a little bit of tape on the outside to hold it top and bottom and then a bit on the inside. And we will just put that right about like that and another piece here. And I'm just using the junior plates because they'll fit right through there. And you can emboss this too if you want to bring a little extra detail, but just to show you. There we go. Put our tape up here. And you can reuse all of your removable tape. And I like to keep it on the handle of my machine there so it's handy. There we go. And you also have an, another piece you can use on another card later, but see how that gives you a nice little edge. Now I've gone ahead and put that onto my frame with just a little bit of uh, Cosmic Shimmer Dries Clear glue so it's on there and added some mounting foam to it. So we'll come back to that in a moment. Put those back onto our magnetic sheet. So the next thing you want to do is to cut the snowflake background. Now this is a set of two inner cutting uh, rings, so I'm going to take those out and cut it with these two. So it just gives you a beautiful uh, detail there and in here with a kind of a, a little bit of a void area there which we'll um, add a frame to later. Now I have used spray glue to adhere this to another piece of white card. Okay, so what we're going to do is set these aside and we're going to get our sparkle texture paste. Because you've seen me use this through um, masks and I've also embossed and uh, grouted um, embossing folders, but you can also do it with a die, okay? So just using a palette knife, I'm just going to take some of the sparkle texture paste and apply it and just move it all over like you're frosting a cake. Pick it up and just move it with your knife and get it into all of those areas. There we go. And you don't waste any of this because whatever extra you have, we will take off and put back into our container. Just like that. And you don't want to pull too hard because you don't want to drag it out of the die. But just try and keep it a light, um, light pull across the top so it just takes off the excess. There we go. Now I'm going to be putting a frame on this later, so I'm not too fussed if it's a little messy around the edge. But if you want to use it like this, you could take a tissue and wipe around it. This needs to uh, set aside to dry, and as you notice, there's moisture in this sparkle texture paste, so you're going to get a little bit of a movement with your paper. So um, let it dry probably eh, an hour, an hour and a half, perhaps a little bit longer, depending on the weather. Um, and then 
I would just flatten it under a book for a little bit and you'll have a nice flat piece like this, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and set this one to the side. Put that there. And we're going to seat our frame on top of this. So peeling off the mounting foam that I've applied to this. I'm just gonna raise it a bit for dimension. Pop that right over the top of that and center it. That looks nice. Okay, and this extra bit, I'm just going to nip away with some scissors. Just get under the edge and be sure not to cut your frame. Yeah. Make sure to keep your scissors at an angle and go slow. There we go. Get this last little side here. Okay. So now I've got a really nice framed um, die grouted area there. It just has a little bit of shine. It's that tone on tone I really love. Now the next thing I want to do is add a frame to this. So what I went ahead and did is I used the inside cutting oval from the Devos Snowflake as well as the inside ones from the Snowflake background. So I've used this one and this one here to give me this piece. So it's just a really pretty oval, just done out of white. I've added a little bit of mounting foam on that. So I'm gonna peel off the backing. And then that will sit up on that area where we have the little void in the center of that background. Just adds a little bit more detail to it. And since I've got a little bit of sparkle texture paste there, I'm gonna add a tiny bit of glue to the back just to make sure it adheres nicely. There we go. That's going to sit right like that, framing that beautiful little area. Okay, so I'm gonna create a background to seat that onto. Went ahead and cut a piece of white card and I've already cut two of the snowflake borders. I've adhered one and I'm just going to go ahead and show you what I do for the second one is add a little bit of glue down the strip here. And then just in some key strategic places, we're gonna add some more Cosmic Shimmer Dries Clear Glue and that'll hold it nicely. And I'm gonna pop that edge right along there. Let me lean in and get that nice and straight. About like that. Give that a second. And we'll nip away the ends. And you can put this into a paper cutter if it's easier for you. There we go. And I'm gonna put a little bit of glue right there. Hold that piece down, I knocked. Okay, created a background for it already. I've gone ahead and used some Cosmic Shimmer White PVA glue and made the little dots all the way around the edge to frame it. I've added some mounting foam. I'm gonna peel this up. and seat that in the center there. That looks straight. And now our frame, and I tell you what, we'll just put a little bit of glue on the back of this. Pop that right into the center there. Get that as straight as we can. Give it a second to adhere. And I'm gonna decorate the frame a little bit. I have gone ahead and cut one of the tags. I used the Let It Snow from the piece set and just a real light inking of stormy sky distress ink around it. I'm gonna put that in the center with some foam and that's going to seat right across the um, center of that frame and I'll add a little bit of uh, extra glue there. Pop that into place. And those beautiful snowflakes will overhang. I put a couple little pearls there. And just to add some detail, I have cut some of the snowflakes. Let me gather them up here. And I'm gonna do a tiny bit of inking on a few of these just to add some color to it. And this is your stormy sky. So I'm just gonna use a smoothie here and add a little bit of color to a couple of these just to tie in with the edge of that frame. Very, very light, okay? And we will seat these around our frame. I'm gonna put this one down here and then I'm gonna put this one right on top of it and offset it. 
There we go. And we'll have two up in the corner. There's one. And a little bit right like that and just off the edge, just a tiny bit. Beautiful. Now you can put a couple of um, flat back pearls in the center of those, maybe along the edge here, just to embellish it if you like, but how simple and easy is that? And I think that this is really a spectacular card that you'll enjoy giving any of your friends at Christmas. I hope you've enjoyed today's video and you look on our YouTube channel for more of the videos and even my blog, www.partycraft.blogspot.com. See you soon.